Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shop with me and DIY home decorating content and today is my long awaited upstairs living room transformation. We have this beautiful brand new loft space in our home, never before seen and I'm taking you through the entire transformation process start to finish. Lots of like dark cozy neutrals, but like a Scandi rustic with tons of textures style and I'm so excited to share the entire transformation with you. If you're excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified when my nursery transformation goes live in about a month. I'm so excited to be sharing that with you as well. If you're looking for living room decorating ideas or living room decorating inspiration, this is the video for you. And without further ado, let's hop into it. Here is the starting point of our upstairs living room. These spaces are very common in the area that we live in. They're built into tons of floor plans and we weren't sure how to functionally utilize this space until we found out we were having a baby and we knew this would be the perfect hangout spot for us as a family. This room is a completely blank slate so I'm super excited to be filling it with furniture and if you haven't heard of them we are partnering with Castlery today. Castlery is a modern furniture company that creates a story for every room in your home. They craft furniture that's timeless using really high quality raw materials to create pieces built for longevity, which was extremely important to us knowing that we were introducing a baby into our house. We wanted great quality furniture that was going to last a very long time. Another great thing about their furniture is that so much of it is multi-use. We wanted furniture that was functional as well as aesthetic and Castlery had so many options for us to choose from. They're also a direct to consumer consumer brand without middlemen so they have really honest and fair pricing and really great affordability especially for the quality that you're getting. This is the first piece that I chose. It's the Luca cabinet. I'm obsessed with how stylish it is but I also love how functional and utility the piece is at the same time. I also love the walnut color. I fell in love the moment I saw it. If you've been following our decorating journey since we moved into our house in the spring you'll know we've been doing bright spaces with dark pops and the Luca cabinet was the perfect piece for that corner. You obviously can't have a living room without a couch and I knew I wanted a sectional for this space because it's such a big space for us to fill out. There was a few things that were at the top of my priority list. I wanted something with a more durable fabric in a linen color and if you know me then you know that it absolutely had to have removable covers. The Dawson Chase sectional hits all of those points and I love that I was able to order free fabric swatches before I placed my order so that I knew exactly exactly what I was going to be getting. I'm obsessed with the color of this and you may look at it and be a little bit nervous thinking, Katie, you have three dogs and you're having a baby. But like I said, the fabric is really, really durable and the covers come off. So we were able to wash the entire thing. I also love that this couch is a bit of a puzzle. So no matter where we end up using it in any future spaces, we know it's going to work for us for a super long time. Do anything for what we started. You guys know me I just love a statement coffee table this is the cupid coffee table it has such a unique shape on the bottom it does also have some storage capabilities you are able to store things on the cubbies underneath but I'm obsessed with the shape of the bottom and it also has that same walnut veneer as the Luca cabinet and I wanted a lot of those brown tones in this space this piece is definitely a lot more structured and geometric than anything I would have chosen in the past few years but my personal design aesthetic has definitely evolved. I love how with the display storage on the bottom, it can be styled to fit anything I am going for. So this table is really going to evolve with me. I did want to let you know that Castlery offers a 14 day return policy. They also have warranty coverage and flat rate shipping. Overall, I can't recommend their furniture enough. We are loving the way that it looks in the space and I cannot wait to show you all of these pieces fully styled later in the video. Thank you. 
this big open wall was just dying for some open shelving. I love open shelving because you can add a ton of character to a space without it feeling cluttered and I love how you can change out the pieces seasonally, yearly, however often you prefer. These are from Ollie's but they are originally from Target. Ollie's is a discount store that sells Target liquidation. I've done a couple of videos shopping there if you are interested in seeing what they have or seeing if there's one near you. I'll link a couple of those videos for you down below. These shelves are originally from Target. You can still get them there. I believe they are about $35 dollars a piece and I got them for ten dollars a piece at Ollie so it was such a bargain the walnut veneer matched perfectly with the castlery furniture in the room and it also has gold hardware which we are incorporating a little bit of gold elements as well so these shelves were just absolutely perfect notice Brian's outfit change as always in this video there are just tons of outfit changes these projects take several days and I never want to pretend that this is something that can be accomplished in one day I never want to set that like false precedence so please enjoy our wider range of different outfits in this video anyways for these floating shelves we did decide to hang them two a little bit higher and then one a little bit lower just to add a little bit of visual interest with the differing heights and i will be doing that when i decorate the shelves as well These brown tapestries I'm hanging are actually a Kirkland's clearance find. If you're interested in knowing where any of the other decor in the room is from, I did a huge home decor haul featuring all the items I'm using to decorate this space, including all of the pricing and everything, so I'll have that linked down below for you. I couldn't wait to decorate this side of the room, so we're going to complete this side before we move on to the other side. Those brown floral pillows are actually what I based the entire room color scheme around. I just am so in love with them. I found these cool toned brown pillows from Home Goods that go perfectly, and I just feel like they add some color onto the couch while keeping things still super neutral. When thinking about the decor choices for this space, I wanted to keep things functional and very minimal. I laid down this color coffee table book which incorporates a lot of the same tones I'm already working with in the room and then to add a little bit of life to this space I added this faux plant I always love having faux plants and greenery around the room and these perfect J coasters another Kirkland's clearance fine J for our last name being Joyce and the walnut color perfectly matches everything else and that is it for the coffee table styling this corner between the couch and the wall is the perfect home for this functional storage basket it. I'm going to be using it to store extra blankets and pillows as well as things for the baby such as a boppy pillow. I love that I can close it and kind of hide everything away in here and I also love the texture of the basket. It adds a lot of earthiness back into the space. <laughs> With this being a second living space, we wanted to have a slight game room theme. We know this is going to go full playroom mode once our kids get a little bit older, but we wanted to pay homage to some of the games that we love, darts being one of them. Brian and I always say that we fell in love at this Irish bar that we would play darts at in the beginning of our relationship, so we knew we wanted a dart board. We also wanted to have a mini fridge, and originally my plan was to store it inside of the Luca cabinet because it does have great ventilation, but I didn't want to move around the shelves and mess with the storage in there too much so I decided to just put it on top of the cabinet which I actually like even better because now our guests know that they can reach in there and grab a drink. This did slightly mess up my plans for decorating the top of the cabinet but I was able to easily pivot so I wanted to put this jug but it's too similar in size to the mini fridge. That is okay because I also wanted to display these vintage edition bookshelf games. I am so obsessed with these. You can find these right now at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. You can also find them on Amazon. They'll be linked down below. They have all of your favorite games and I picked the three neutral ones just to kind of match the colors of the space and I am obsessed with the way that they look. I stored the sleeves that the games came in just kind of on the bottom shelf of the Luca cabinet and then also decided to bring up all of our board games because 
because this is a space where we would play board games with friends or with our family in the future so I wanted to bring up all of our board games and store them inside which was what I was planning to do with this cabinet all along there's just so much great storage also don't make fun of how many puzzles we have fun fact about Brian and I is that we are huge puzzle lovers we did a lot of them during the pandemic and now we have a home for all of them Have you ever purchased a frame or a mirror at HomeGoods and been annoyed by the fact that they put the sticker right on the front? I have a really easy trick for getting these off. Just hit it with a blow dryer for no joke like 10 to 15 seconds and they peel off so easily and don't leave any residue. Trust me, I have played the Goo Gone game, the Dawn dish soap trick and nothing works as easy as this. Similar to other areas of the room, I wanted to keep the decor on the shelves pretty minimal and uncluttered. I also wanted to incorporate some greenery, personal photos of Brian and I, and just other neutral elements. Some textured, some not, also some candles, some jars. All of these items can be changed out seasonally, which is what I love about floating shelves, and this is the final product. For the big window in this space, we decided to use, of course, all of my tried and true favorites off of Amazon. They will be linked down below. We originally hung the curtain on the rings like we have in all the other spaces in our home, but quickly realized that the curtains were actually a little bit too long. That was a little bit of an oops in our measuring process. It happens. The quick solution here, though, to not have to rehang the curtain rod for us was to just hang the curtain by the tabs that already came on the back. We haven't hung any other curtains like this around our home but this just made the most sense and still gave us the look we were wanting and we just didn't want to make any more holes in the wall so that quickly solved the problem and now they are hanging at the perfect length. Without a doubt, Brian's favorite part of this makeover was unboxing his new 75-inch Samsung TV. We picked up the TV and the wall mount from Sam's Club. We decided to go with such a large TV because there is a big space between the couch and the wall that the TV is going to be mounted on. We wanted to make sure you could still see everything. Plus, it's like a hangout room slash game room slash play room, movie room. So we knew we just wanted a really large TV for the space. It came with this really handy hanging kit. All you do is line it up on the wall where you want the mount to hang. Then you just mark where the studs are. We did use a stud finder. With it being such a heavy TV, you absolutely have to make sure that you are mounting into the stud so that it is safe on the wall and not going anywhere. You can pick up a stud finder on Amazon. I can link the one that we have down below. Brian and I have mounted so many TVs at this point between our old apartment, our new house, all the other places we have lived. Every room has a TV mounted. It just makes such a nice difference getting the TV off of a piece of furniture and actually hung up on a wall. It just really, really elevates a space. They sell wall mounts for so cheap on Amazon and they are honestly really easy to install these days. I don't know how, oh how 
you do it you blow my mind without a word oh stuck upside down i might be dreaming there's no way back now take every inch of my body wanna dance with you all night long Cause And just like that, the TV is mounted, the cord is hidden, and we are ready to build the furniture that is going to go underneath the TV. I had originally wanted this cabinet from Pottery Barn, but it was like over $2,000, and that was just not in the budget, so I decided to go the look for less route. I really, really love like black glass window pane furniture, so I wanted to kind of recreate that look. I ended up buying two of the same cabinet off of Amazon. The great but also awful thing about Amazon is that prices fluctuate on there a lot, so I had been looking at these cabinets a couple different times, and when I finally went to go buy them, the price had risen, and I didn't really have time to wait for the price to go back down, so definitely I would recommend installing the Honey browser extension. I've talked about it a lot, but not only do they plug in coupons for different websites, they can also tell you if something is the lowest price on Amazon, if it's a high price on Amazon, they track all the pricing through their browser extension. So I definitely recommend downloading Honey. This is not sponsored at all. I just really love their service. Anyways, back to the piece of furniture. Like I said, we did end up getting two of them. The first one, it was a bit trickier for us to figure out how to put together just because it was the first time we were doing it, but it wasn't that hard. It probably took us about 40 minutes to get it all put together, and it's a really great quality piece. It's like black powder coated, so it's extremely durable. It's not going to get super scratched up or dinged up easily at all all brian and i just tag teamed this first one got it put together and i'm super excited for you to see the glass doors shitty car but we hit the road doesn't matter where we go and destination or no i don't care where the motor stops because when i want it then i want it yeah i want it want it let's go look around where's the people at i want a taste of the good life hit me with it right now in it because when i want it this piece of furniture came with really beautiful gold hardware that i was excited about because it just matches the other elements in the room really well I will say the one thing we were super worried about was putting the doors on because that can be really tricky with a lot of other pieces of furniture but I was shocked at how easy it was. You just slip the little hinges into place, slip the door on, and the door perfectly just is in place. I was literally in shock. Brian left me hanging there for a second. We went ahead and moved this first piece into place. Like I said, I ordered two of them. So it's about 104 inches when they are side by side because they're 52 inches each. And you just watched us build the whole first one. So just like that, here is the second one. It's 2 a.m. when we close the bar, but we're in the get go. Next place, give me some more. With a cabinet like this, it was really important that we have a lot of storage. So I actually purchased six of these brown Studio McGee baskets. They fit so perfectly. At first, I thought I wanted to do handles out, but then I decided to do handles on the side. All six of these will be great storage for our daughter's toys, books, all those little types of things. We can also do like diapers and wipes in one of them just to have like a mini changing area. Just tons and tons and tons of storage. We're actually leaving the top shelf completely empty. We're not putting any decor or anything like that. We just want to leave a lot of space for us to be able to grow into. And then for decor on the top, we want to leave it pretty minimal. So I'm just doing two matching vases, one on each side. I grabbed these vases from Home Goods. They are so beautiful. I just like love the rustic color of them to add a little bit of life into them i am adding these faux eucalyptus stems these are from hearth and hand from target but i am going to pick up some 
real dried eucalyptus just to kind of have more of like a real element and I want the smell because <laughs> I know that they just smell so so good so I am looking to pick those up next time I'm at Trader Joe's or Hobby Lobby whichever one I get to first but that is what we did for the two sides of the TV I considered doing lamps but I just felt like it wasn't the safest option just like having the cords and I knew that we wouldn't use them realistically and then inside the dough bowl I just put a bag of this Kirkland's vase filler Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go Nothing matters when we're way out here hang up this Studio McGee painting I'm using my good old handy tape trick it's just where you poke a hole on each hook so that you know exactly where you need to nail then you just put the tape on the wall grab a level readjust as you need to and then wherever you poke the holes is exactly where you put the nails Brian and I do this trick a little bit differently because I leave the tape and then just peel it away from the nails it just comes right off and it's perfectly level and perfectly hung every single time Talking in riddles, now you're lying to me again. You think I'm going crazy, but I'm not missing you. I only miss the illusion you pretend it to be. I'm not acting crazy. It's officially happened. I am in my cordless vacuum era. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. It's actually a Dyson dupe. It has the touch screen. It comes with all the same attachments as the Dyson. It's so lightweight, so easy to maneuver and use. I can't say enough good things about it. I'm absolutely obsessed. So if you've been looking for a cordless stick vacuum and you want a Dyson but like don't want to pay the Dyson price, I'll have this one linked down below. I am absolutely loving it. And with that final pass of the vacuum, our upstairs living room slash family room slash game room is officially complete. I hope that you guys love this space as much as I do. I feel like while it is still stylish and aesthetically pleasing, it's very functional for us bringing a new baby into the home. We will of course learn and adapt and grow with her and we're super excited to use this space as a family. I just love all the little nods, like the little mini fridge. Those are just such fun touches that we don't have in any other space in our home and I know that we are going to utilize this room a ton. Thank you again to Castlery for partnering with me today on this video and be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Well, alrighty everyone, there you have it, our upstairs living room transformation. I hope that you were able to take tons of living room decorating ideas and you got some really great inspiration to decorate your space going into the new year. If you decorated for the holidays, maybe this gave you some inspiration on what you can do when you take all of that stuff down. Thank you all so much for being here, for decorating with me and shopping with me today and every day. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. I have so many more home decorating idea videos on the horizon, tons of shopping videos, of course, at Target, Home Goods, all of your favorite stores. I love you so much. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. We're gonna get Ryan's reaction. Wow. Wow. Ah. You like it? Yeah, I love it. Ah. What a loft. What a loft. What's your favorite part? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Shelves are amazing, the coffee table really hits. Those are great. Possibly the 80 inch TV could be my favorite thing. Needs a, <laughs> needs a sound bar. I don't know, babe, it just all really came together perfectly. Love it, love it. <laughs>